Okay. Next step, what we're going to do is work on a lighting a little bit and on the our mountain. If you remember, we have a sun that was kind of on the side, but a uh, beauty about do with components, we can slightly cheating with the lighting, be sure we have the best look on the mountain and apply some shadows or effect afterwards inside the Photoshop. So we kind of don't restrain to that point. And what I'm going to do is just take this mountain, bring my camera to best preview, you know, and uh, it does help if you kind of think in a way how it's mountain going. So I will probably have it something closer going on uh, one side and I have it another mountain a little bit more far away on the side. So I want to take this mountain and rotate. This is mountain will be if I make composition, it's probably will be something like this locating and maybe going a little bit higher up. So let's take my camera, put it about eye view. Okay, we'll take this mountain and probably render around the area. Okay, now sunlight. Again, remember because we have it kind of position we have a two choices we can render with some shadows on the side or we can bring a little bit more with depth overall when I'm rotating I'm just looking for the best shape on this mountain but I do want to keep it the lighting somewhat similar to what we had before so maybe bring kind of like this I'm looking on the shadows right here to give it very nice look on our mountain. Okay, let me preview. So right here we have something nice effect. I can add a little bit more to mountain and the snow doesn't look too white. So let me go back to materials and I want to just go over all of this snow we applied and that it works on flow. We have it highlights. I want to probably bring highlights a little bit up, down, so it's we have it a little brighter. Same, let's bring a little bit more highlights in our snow. Okay, right here, these two things, the wear one, it's maybe um, does not create too good look for the snow. I'm going to bring this all the way to the white kind of hide it and let's same things to do right here so we'll bring those all the way to the white let's go on highlights and bring both of them highlights up oops right here let's preview just a little bit better but again I have a kind of grain right on the bottom but this portion will be cut off by other mountain so when we have it closer I'm a kind of in vision it's probably cut off right that area so it should be okay um, let's go to the atmosphere and work a little bit on atmosphere one I want to do this global radio so it will provide a very nice effect and look um, next we'll leave it as a sunlight and I only want to have it desaturated and a little bit darker it should bring a little bit better colors around this area let's go on sky fog and um, normally I will probably start play with a effect, but because we're going to post production, I want to bring a sharpness as I can. So I will actually set this to the zero because I don't want it. Um, for me, it's easy to add the fog effect and and a smog afterwards inside the Photoshop, but I will have it ability to have this sharp and clear image at this point. Um, so we'll go right here. This is set. Just leave it as default. We don't need to worry about quality boost on the clouds. We don't have it any in atmosphere. Um, the one thing I'm kind of still maybe bring a bit more ambient light, but I'm not sure if I want to do this or actually leave it higher contrast. And instead, we're going to go inside the sun property. And right here where is the shadows, we'll just enable shadow map. The interesting thing is when we enable shadow map for this, you can you will notice it will have a slightly 
nice and soft. So let me go switch to the final so we can preview this. Okay, and right here you can see we have it a little bit smoother, nicer shadows. And I think this is actually will work very well, this mountain. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And now we'll go inside the render. And right here, I want to uncheck Hide Infinity Planes from Alpha. So I don't want this back planes. I just want my mountain with Alpha. Okay, I'm going to... Um, set a little bit higher so superior will be the probably the best quality will or higher and for this tutorial I'm just going 1920 by 1080 uh, usually I recommend have it the higher even bigger than your original so you can scale if necessary increase or decrease with your mountains but again for this tutorial I will kind of sacrifice a little bit of the resolution for the render time and I will just pop up on superior quality um, I know it won't take that long because uh, overall we don't have that much atmosphere inside but be sure you enable hide infinity planes so let's click OK and I'm going to render right now so I'm going to pause this tutorial and come back when the render is completed okay our render completed it took about four minutes so it's actually quite a bit fast but again the reason is why because all what we render these mountains we do not render um, any other and you notice how we have to nice coloring going when we come closer so it's a little bit more details next what I'm going to do is save this image and I'm saying as PSD as well be sure you save this as an alpha map right here so we can easy to cut off this mountain and reusing on the our scenario Okay, after when you save, finish saving, let's change this mountains. And the nice things about this, if we take this mountain and move in different place, it will look like total different mountain. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reuse this. So next I can put it something maybe behind this or on another side. So I can reuse this mountain over. Um, one thing what I said before, it will be kind of like almost hero shot mountain. Uh, here what those meaning it's my attention and this is what I'm going I'm going to bring this mountain maybe like right here this is will be one of the main shot and let me take my camera so I'm maybe going to put it like right here around and bring this closer to my camera so this is will be front we'll have it another mountain on the side and maybe one on the back like large mountain somewhere far away there so i'm going to set this mountain let me move right around here okay we can kind of adjusting okay let me go ahead and oops actually i'll go to preview and go smaller Side, so I'm going to preview say okay this may look okay except I want to bring something very close I maybe need render create some very simple kind of like almost effect right this area so let's take this mountain and put it right on here I'll scan just slightly change shape by increasing make it sharper and I think yeah this maybe will be on the side we have one right here this will be slightly on the back so we can also increase size of this so we can render right around that area Again, notice I know I probably will cut around here, but I want to provide room for myself so I can play around with this. And the same things. Now we'll go to higher quality of stuff. Notice I leave it my lights position kind of from same because I want somewhat match my lighting. And I'm going to render again. Okay, again, it's taking one less three minutes right here to render. And I probably going to render many different kind of uh, places for the mountains right now 
So just overall, I recommend you to just almost build your own library of different mountains. You can easy drag and drop. But again, remember, you always want to save the alpha map as well. So you can reuse it. Um, Z depth is not necessary in this because it does have a position, but we will modify this afterwards anyway. Okay, as I say, let's create other ones. The one other thing what you can play around and it's kind of recommendation. You don't necessarily just can scale. You can let's copy one of these. So I just press Alt and drag its copy. And I can take this one and modify. I can actually take and shrink this all the way down. Bring this closer to the camera. It's gonna say if, if I want to create, you know, one of the closer, maybe you know, person can walk right here in the mountains, can be around. So I can do this way. I can bring, let it shrink even smaller. Okay, something like this. Now we can tilt it slightly one way, another way. Again, remember this is just will be a kind of piece uh, to use it. And we can go to, let's go preview mode. Okay, as example, we can see we can kind of add different rendering. Again, right here on this one, because, um, let me just slightly increasing. Okay, but because the height is changed, what I want to do on, uh, we have um, covering for the snow. So if we reduce, we'll have a little bit better effect. Let me just preview. Okay, just add a slightly cover. Okay, let's look on environment. This is our bottom one. We don't need this one. And this on the top, so I can and just bring down. Let me preview how well it will go. Okay, so we have this no cover, and I'm just trying to readjust a little bit more on a flat effect. Kind of bring closer right here. Have it flat, steep. Okay, again, preview. So you can see this is a little bit more closer if I need to create, and I'm probably going to do something right here with materials I may need rework um, and the snow it's look okay but another things you notice we created layers on material the another way to create it mix materials and a mix materials will produce a very nice effect you can create sharper edge so it will look more like a snow effect there or we can combine different type of terrain so for this one, I'm just stretch even a little bit more on that terrain. Okay, and I'm just going to add, kind of rework a little bit more on the snow. So we'll add zero right here. And let's just kind of a little bit more on the snow. Okay, let me preview. And I think this is portion may work very well right here. Kind of does not um, bring. So let me maybe bring that way. Kind of um, preview this again. This is front plane. A little bit we can play around with the distortions on this. Now maybe that one will actually work kind of more interesting. Yeah, we have it. Some effect right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is again take this one, render, and save it. Okay, so this complete. The one thing I want to point and is right here, you see. What do we have? We have this pixelizations and repetition coming quite a bit. So you can see it. 
and we can fix this by increasing interpolations or add twist to the material but what I want to do I actually want to save this and show after in Photoshop how you can fix it with this panic or whatever is happening to the scenery so we can apply some noise distribution and apply mask to this and slightly dodge and burn to bring some effect up so I'm going to save as like this with this imperfections okay after saving so I want to do one more so I'm going to hide this mountain I don't need it and I want to bring back this one will just rotate from totally different angle so we kind of don't even know what this mountain it is let's put it slightly right there and um, you know what actually let me go to copy this okay create one more but on this one what I want to do it is go inside and notice we can skew kind of almost this mountain in a way we want it so I want to actually position and bring this mountain maybe skew a little bit more to this area so I'm just previewing what you ski skew so we go on and back this mountain will be okay and I'm going to bring it this way so you can apply additional modification after to your mountain so you see which one will work better okay, again this is will be far away mountain okay, let me increase scale Maybe just playing around, see which shape will get nicer going from this position or going with the kind of almost going over. You know what? I'm going to render same mountain from two different angles and I'm going after import and we'll see which one will work better when we produce, when we start putting together inside the Photoshop. Okay, so. What I recommend for you to do just render, take this mountain, create another one, so render uh, in different play. It's kind of different um, shapes, different angles. Build your own library for your um, environment so you can use it. And it's take only three, four minutes. It's very fast to render and you will have it full resolution. You also can save as HDRI and enhance afterwards. So you have it much more flexibility by working with these isolated objects than work with the stock photo footage because you'll probably spend more time by masking and try to find right angles like right color. In this case, you provide by yourself. So let's go ahead to the next step.